Okay. Uh, for those of you who are just joining in, in my panels below, I've listed all the streamers' links who are participating in today's tournament. So at any time, if you want to go check them out, look at their perspective, please feel free to do so. I advise them to get a stream delay on, but who knows if they got it on or not. All right, so we got to go commit suicide, uh, drown out so we can go into spectate mode. Uh, then we'll be able to see the whole map, see the players, and go get involved in the action. Wow, my character just uh, came above water. Untouchable. Um, use Mama Shabubu, a.k.a. me. Oh, that's you? Can't show up on time like a bunch of amateurs. It's crazy, man. All right, here we go. 30 teams left alive. We're going to go spectate. Boom. Let's pull up the map, see what we got. Who's, who's a hot dropper? Holy hell. Top right is super hot. Uh, we're going to stay right here just for a moment, though. We're at Camp Alpha because we have a few squads here. So we got Team 26, Bev TTV, and Mike Burt facing off against Team 280, Toxic, and Team 20, Drunk Penguin TTV. Let's see how aggressive they're going to be early. But boy, oh boy, we need to get to the right side. It is stacked hard over there with teams. That is nuts. Only two teams went to uh, Boot Camp, JTX Sniper, and It's Nose in Hell and Rock Line. They're going out for a fight right now. Already Rock Line is knocked Looking to get a revive from his teammate before JTX Patriot pulls in to get the sauce on him. Bev is rotating around, leaving Mike Burt really exposed out to the edge by himself. But Mike Burt gets into a fight and Dirty Merkin goes down, but 80 Toxic in the window. That wasn't Mike Burt, excuse me. It was 80 Toxic shooting Dirty Merkin, knocks him and almost takes, gets taken out himself. Now Drunk Penguin is way wrapped around, rotating on Mike Burt and takes out Mike Burt. Whoa, and Bev TTV tries to come in and back his buddy up, but it's too late. His buddy gets instant sauce. He's rotating around. Dirty Merkin gets sauce evil. Jumps away barely with any help, but Bev takes him out. Says, no, I got you. I'm getting points for my team. Tries to get back up in this compound. Doesn't know what kind of armor he has. He has a level 2 helmet. He's good to go on that. 80 Toxic level 2 geared out of his mind. Runs into the compound. Drunk Penguin's looting already. Says, god damn it. Lost my teammate. Now I need to get some loot. Get geared up. Maybe get a helmet. Because my head is really exposed and it's airy. He's got an M24 and an M4 to start the game. Really good weaponry. Jumps on top of the roof. Ballsy as hell. Bev spotted him. Does Bev take shots? No, he holds his shot for a second. Bev rotates down. AD Toxic also rotating out to the right side of the half wall. He's level 2 geared up. AK and a QBZ for weaponry. That's going to be really good up close. Drunk Penguin needs to get a helmet, though, or he's in real, real trouble. No helmet still. Bev's rotating outside. Uh-oh. He's got to hear AD Toxic. He's close enough for footsteps to be heard. Two compounds over. Let's see how they're going to play it here. Patriot and JTX Sniper did take out boot camp. They are victorious. They were down to 29 teams total. Uh, if you type exclamation rules in the chat, you'll see the rules for how many points are per kill, how many points are for placement as well, uh, with how many matches we're playing today, just an FYI. Mike Stan Twitch with a frag grenade. There's no way that was actually Mike Stan playing because he's horrible at grenade throws, but he does take out foe with a grenade. Where does that happen? That's at Camp Bravo. Let's get a little rotation on to see what's going on. Prolific God and Mike Stan both take out Team 6. We're going to rotate over. This is where the hot right side spot was at. Now we got a couple teams spread out. Resort is looking like we got a couple squads pretty close. Let's zoom on in here to Team 4 and Team 9. We got Eventown and DJ Swiss's squad here. They're actually separated a pretty good bit. I thought they might be pushing each other, but it looks like they're just kind of getting looted up here, which is a great area to go for loot, especially if there's not that many teams to fight. Drunk Penguin did end up taking AD Toxic out back there, surprisingly, because he didn't even have a helmet. I would love to have seen that match, that fight. Who else is in danger zone here? No one's actually close enough to really shoot except B. June over here. Let's see if we can't get over to him. So we're going to go underground so we go faster. Boom, and we're going to zoom on over here because we've got three squads pretty close to each other. All right, so we got Gopher Ninja. Oh, Gopher right behind you, buddy. You're going to get pushed on by your boy and Unknown Slim. I don't think they see Oh, they do see him. Oh, no, Gopher's going to go down. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Team 21 secures seven points. Well done. Well done. Now, B. June heard those shots, and he's like, F this. I am knees to chest. Guns are in my backpack. I am Audi 5000. Me and my motorcycle helmet are gone pecans, baby. See you boys later. He is trucking. Go, Forrest. Go, Forrest. Jesus. All right. We do have a couple, uh, one loot drop coming out. Is anyone going to go for that early? We got some vehicles on the move. 
The rest of the compounds look pretty quiet now that everyone's gotten the original fights out. High, high 10 is going to be uh, popping off here in a moment. Let's see if we can't get underground and rotate over that way. Whoa, not that underground. Come on. There you go. Shoom, like a dolphin. Keep going. There we go. Shots are happening. Let's get involved. We're zooming, baby. We're zooming. That's It Snows squad chasing down uh, Mr. GCR. Riley Fletch takes out B. June. B. June was running away from the other squad and ended up running towards another squad. That's unfortunate for B. June. He goes down instantly because his teammate died early on. Oh, did he? It didn't say he got knocked. He just got killed again. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, so we got It Snows. It's Team 11 versus Team 18 here over at High 10. Uh, they're level 2'd up. Team 18 is really close to Team 26 with BevTTV. Did Mike Burt go out? Yeah, Mike Burt did go out early. That's right on the drop. Uh, DC Pontiac dropping like a maniac on the Ronnie. Bev's like, I'm not holding any shots. I'm going to let him have it. But he's gone. Pecan, no, no shots connected there, Bev. Nice try. A for effort. Now, Team 11 and Team 18 are not close enough to be heard. But if they start shooting, they'll for sure rotate on that. Doesn't look like they are. Pure Customs in this snows is a good squad, too. I'm surprised they're not aggressively searching for people. Meanwhile, at that loot drop up top, Miguel was able to snag that one. Miguel is one of the solo players today because his buddy's going to be late to the tournament. So it looks like he's trying to go for level 3 gear. Uh-oh, Team 11 does spot Team 18. They're taking shots. Nothing seems to connect, really. Oh, you got car 98s going down. You better watch your head, boys. A grenade does connect on Mr. GCR. Takes on some good damage. Uh, Bev might rotate behind these boys and try to get some uh, third-party shots here. Pure Customs rotates left side. Mr. GCR has got to go heal, get some cover, because he is really in danger here. It's nose nose and wants to rotate right side to get some extra pressure on him. I think he's going to get it behind this compound. He's wide open and connects the shots, and GB goes down. It's a 2v1 situation. Mr. GCR claps back and, and knocks out Snows. It's a 1v1 situation. GCR is low on health. Reese is pushing aggressively as hell. Gets shot in the shoulder. Wants to go for the sauce and the kill at the same time. How's he going to do it? Oh, Mr. GCR confirms seven points. Goes for the sauce. Sorry, Jimmy. Is it going to piss off Reese? It does piss off Reese, and Reese claps back and gets 14 points for his squad, but does lose his teammate in the process. Uh, oh, shit. Bev is uh, getting shot at right now by what team? Poo Poo Brown? Let's go. Where y'all at? Oh, no. Bev goes down. Bev goes down. Evan Town takes out Team 26 for good. We're going to rotate over. That's Team 4, Team 29, and Team team 21 and Team 9. Pretty close to each other here by the loot drop. Here we are. Oh, Bev must have take, taken that Ronnie. That's a ballsy play. Taking the Ronnie by yourself. Now, these teams are pretty spread out. Okay, untouchable. But this is where the loot drop was. And uh, that's where Miguel dipped on over. Reckless just took out Shooter Shepard. Sleepy Weasel does hear those shots, and they might rotate on over to there. Let's see who else is going to fight soon. Ronnie Ballgame is really close to Miguel. We need to rotate that way. Miguel's the one with the loot drop. He's over here. Let's go underground. Miguel, I don't know if he knows it, but he's about to run into a squad of two here. Now, he's level three out of his mind. Come on, camera. Talk, we'll work with me. Here we go. Okay, I think Ronnie did just spot him. We are playing FPP. Keep that in mind. This first round is Sandhawk FPP. So you're likely to see a little bit more aggression with the firefights and not so much corner peeking. They got to listen for footsteps. They got to really get a situational awareness of where the enemies are at by the sounds. Call me box. Whoa, does a double shot and takes out Olsenite and Pow Drill all with one spray of the AK. Ronnie's pushing in really aggressively on Miguel. It's a bad idea. Level three gear, class back. Boom, one goes down. He has the AUG. And oh, no. Holy crust does a quick turnaround flick. And takes out Miguel, who is level three out of his mind and saves his teammate in the process. Well done, Holy Crust. That's seven points and saves his teammate. And they get the level three gear. Wow. Although his head is probably destroyed, right? And his helmet is probably long gone. All right, who are we up next? CPX diminished in a red zone. It's not a good spot to be in. I died by that last night. Literally three of my teammates died by that last night. Everyone else is pretty spread out for the most part. Uh, it looks like over here in the main hill, there's four squads that could trickle into the bridge. Oh, wait. Pure Customs is taking a shot at who at out there. Drunk Penguin goes down. Dang. Reese knocks out Drunk Penguin. That's an instant sauce because Penguin lost his teammate early. Some of the vehicles are getting shot at right now. We're going to rotate over. That's by the big bridge. That's probably where the next fight's going to take place. So let's rotate on in. 
Looks like vehicles are going to come right here. We got DC Pontiac. Is he turn right? Yep, Team 14 does turn right to get on the bridge. So they're going to bypass these gunshots here. Are they st are they trying to bridge camp? No, they're going to keep going. Okay. I thought they're going to bridge camp. Uh, over there, Kayao, Kao, Kao. It might be the next fight because there's about four squads really close to that compound. We got real Goompa pushing up behind QD. That could be a fight at the edge of boot camp. Everyone else just a little bit spread out right now. If they have snipers, they could probably see each other. But other than that, they're not really close enough to hear each other. It's equivocal's running danger close in a tap mock. Does he stop? If they stop, we're going to zoom over there. I'm just watching the map to see if they stop here. Now they kept going. Smart play by them. <laughs> Smart play by them. Go Birds is on the edge of the circle, really close to Ronnie Ball game. That's not where he wants to be after that level three fight. Call me box is trickling on in from the from the blue zone, taking tick for no reason, trying to get in, but he's gonna pass up Reese, and Reese is not gonna hold his fire. He is going to let shots happen. Shane Town, or I'm sorry, yeah, but Shane Town and Evan Town are just doing tricks and shit on the uh, motorcycle here. Talk to you boys later. Give me give me a backflip. Give me a backflip. Nah, they ain't about that life. <laughs> All right, who else we got here? Yep, so sure enough, Reese is over there, and he does start shooting. Let's get on over and see if he takes him out. But well, we know Reese, man. He doesn't like to hold shots. They shoot back, though. They're on the bike shooting back at him. Let's get over there. Oh, they stopped. They stopped. So Reese is by himself here. His buddy did go down that last team fight. Oh, no, but they kept going a pretty good ways. Okay. I was going to say, they actually stopped, but they were shooting back out the back of the truck. So now Reese has got to push on in to hold edge circle. Uh, boot camp might end up being a fight here after all. Let's get on over to Patriot Squad. He's danger close here to uh, Team 16. They do take shots. Can't any connect. Nope. Nine Leaves is just full gas in it, man. He's out of there. Pedal to the metal. No one's taking any chances here trying to get killed on a vehicle today. All right. This is about to be uh, what? Circle 3 is in a close. Or circle 2 is in a close here in a two and a half minutes. That's where this is going to get interesting. We got 20 teams left still. 20 teams left. Let's rotate over to Mike Stan Twitch's squad. It looks like he's pretty close to a firefight with uh, Henry's, Henry's squad, Team 23. Let's get on over. All right, we're up. We're up. So now we got Mike Stan and Prolific God, two really good players against Henry and Riley Fletch. Now, I know Henry. Henry's a good player. I'm not familiar with Riley Fletch at all. Let's see what kind of armor they got. Mike Stan's pushing pretty aggressively. Level 2 and level 1 geared. I think Mike Stan sees them for sure. They do. They're shooting back at each other. Nothing, nothing's really going to happen inside this compound. They rotate out. Shane Town takes out Call Me Box in the meantime. Henry's peeking right with a level 1 helmet. That's not a smart play for him. They're trying to get Hilltop, though. That is a good play. They both... In sync, shoot at Mike, stand, twitch, and connect. Maybe one or two bullets. Prolific God needs to get involved and help his buddy out. He's going to rotate in, but he doesn't have any cover. It's a bad spot to be. They're all both behind the same compound. That's a oh, bad peak and almost gets his head taken off. He says, shit, I'm out. He 5,000. Evan Town takes out nine leaves with a headshot from the QBU. Prolific God rotates left. Nasty shots from behind. Nope, that was Evan Town again. Henry Hammerdick is almost down here. He's got to get a heal, and he goes down with one car and then eight shots to the butt. Sorry, buddy. Whoa, Riley almost takes out Mike Stan. He goes for an aggressive heal. He, he, didn't stay, he didn't stay committed. Here comes a frag grenade to end it all. Three, two, one. Bye, boys. It's been real. It's been real. Prolific God with the Kobe's to take out Team 23. CPX diminished. Knocks out DC Pontiac. We got more shots happening. Where's that at? Oh, right here behind us. Untouchable audio. Uh, we got three squads pinching into each other. Team 14, Team 22. And Team 30, all within shooting distance of each other. We got some snipers in the match here. What's Equivocal got? We got Twitch's uh, Sane squad and Mike Stan squad, both with snipers. Let's see what Team 14 has. Come on, camera. Let's go. Let's go. Team 14 has Circle Edge. They have snipers as well. Level 2 geared up. So Mike uh, Prolific and then Twitch Blue Sane squad has to pull on into the circle. It looks like Mike stands in the, the worst position for coming into the circle because uh, Care Bear can peek his right on the hilltop. It looks like Twitch, Blue Sane, and Vin Sane are in an okay space. Eventown over there racking up the points for his squad. Another kill on Dilly Light. And Shane Town comes with the extra kill on Grumps. Wow, it's 14 more points for Team 9. GG's out there, boys. It looks like these teams are going to play a little passively, disengage for this fight, and get ready for the next one. 
So let's maybe rotate into the middle here. Yep, let's do it now. Can we can we get there in time? That's JTX and Patriot, a good squad right there, running up on CPX and Dummy, who already have some points this round. Oh, Patriot definitely sees him out in the open here. Takes a shot, doesn't connect. Or it does connect half health on Dummy, excuse me. CPX is getting shot at right above him. Is able to turn, but doesn't connect any shots. He's going to get shot in the back himself and goes down. What a team play by JTX and the instant sauce. I want the points, big boy. Dummy goes down as well. Damn. That was unfortunate. GG's to Team 5. Good claps. Uh, Pure Customs is really close to a loot drop. Did he get it? Twitch Vinsane is rotating far away. Takes out your boy Baba Fett with the VSS and his boy Unknown Slim. The VSS putting in work on Sandhawk. We missed that fight, but here is the remnants. They are at a loot drop. He smokes it. Is anything even there? I don't think so. You're, you're too late, buddy. You're too late. You're too late. Okay, here we go. We're rolling into phase two of the circle in one minute. Let's rotate over to Pure Customs on that loot drop to see if there's anything there. And if so, does he have it? Or is he baiting it? QD and Real Gump are about to get into a fight at the bottom. They sure do. Big Bang starts taking shots. We might need to rotate to that here in a second. Let's see. Yeah, they're going to be too separated here. Let's get over to that fight. That's uh, Team 8, Team 29. Come on, underground. Let's go. Zoom it. Boom. Here we go. Here we go. Team 25, Team 8, and Team 9. It's a 2v1v1 1v1 situation. Yep. QD and Real Goompa both had their teammates bail last minute, so they're, they're going to be playing solo this round. Uh, QD is rotating right, unfortunately, right into Team 25. Yep, and they see him. They're taking easy shots. He's in the blue. He's going to take unnecessary tick damage while he manages his way, his way around this squad. That gives Real Goomp an easy chance to rotate away from that fight or push in and, and maybe third party this squad and take him out himself, get some points for his team. It looks like both teams don't want anything to do with that and they're rotating away, although Real Goomp is looking this way. You can tell by the arrow. Oh, and they do connect a couple shots on QD. He goes down. Now now Real Goomp wants to get involved. I think it's one, one minute too late, buddy. You had an opportunity to get involved in between that gunfight, but now you're going to push up, give them Hilltop and... You're outnumbered. You're also level one geared up with an M4. Okay, M4 is not a bad weapon choice. He has the barrel. Barrel could be better for ripping up through armor, but he's too close. He's got to see him. They hear him. He takes shots and knocks out Kitchen. Can he go sauce? He doesn't go for the sauce. He goes for the kill. Swap guns. Oh, and he goes down. And he goes down. Real Goopa GG's on that attempt, man. You could have got some points for your squad, but nice attempt at getting two kills there. Got a little greedy. Uh, Patriot, uh-oh, Patriot and Evantown squad are about to run into each other on the edge of this quarry. Let's get up here and see what happens. Here we go. Oh, they're, they're too close. They got to see it. JT sees him. He's about to take shots now. Patriot's going to follow up. No shots. Boom, and that one connects. Shane Town says, shit, my buddy's down. I got to rotate right. Oh, and goes down. Easy claps, man. Team 9 is eliminated. Patriot and JTX are just running this quarry right here. Well done, Team 5, on your second team wipe. Pure Customs bailed far away from that fight. Probably smartly so, too, because he was outnumbered there. So it looks like every squad right now just kind of taking advantage of the slow looting opportunity. They're going to have to rotate into Paradise eventually. Tapmok is going to be shut off here. So it'd be nice to get a circle closure somewhere here where every team has to rotate out of their compounds and into that open field with tree cover. We got uh, Twitch Sane squad off to the right. Loud Giraffe and Sleepy Weasel just, I don't know, backstroking, taking their time, doing some leisure exercises out here, finally making their way into the final uh, island. We still have 11 teams left, so we're going to wait until it's about five teams until we actually rotate on to individual persons. I wish a cool feature for this spectate mode would be if I run up to a player, if we're like, boom, let, let's go check out this squad. Let's go see. Jesus, come on, camera. The camera gets like whiffy, whiffy sometimes. Here we go. See, now it's like point and click. Uh, so 04, uh, Team 4 squad. So you can see they have a sniper, right? They have level 2 helmet. But we don't know how much armor they have left, how much ammo and all that stuff. You only tell that uh, when you cycle on the actual player and then you lose the free spectate mode on console, unfortunately. So it'd be nice to know how much armor they had left, how many grenades they had left, all just from this screen here. I think that'd be, that'd be a cool spectate uh, option. I think that is on PC, though. I just haven't ported it over to Xbox yet. Ronnie Ballgame and his team are doing 360s out there. I don't know if you saw their arrow. Don't know what the hell they're doing. Looking for someone, maybe. Who are we going to rotate on to next? 
No one's really close enough to do any damage. JTX is about to be within distance of Bear Squad. Here. Now uh, they got some compounds blocked and they're not really going to be able to see that. Sleepy Weasel Squad's playing hella safe. They're not even making it to the compound yet before the circle closure. They might run right into pure customs. This is going to be a good 2v1 if they do. Let's go see. Whoop. Let's go see what kind of loot Reese is working with. He's level 2 geared up. Has the uh, butt pan to protect that booty. M4 and an M16 with a compensator and a 4 times scope. Reese is going for the quick sauce gun instead of a car 98, which honestly is not a bad play for duos or squads. Here we go. Here we go. Some shots are happening. That's JTX and it's equivocal fighting. We want to rotate, but we don't want to miss this squad fight here. Let's rotate quick. See if we can rotate back. Oh, they're, they're just doing long distance engagements here. Even if one goes down, they have time to heal. So let's rotate back to Pure Customs, who is pretty close right now to Team 28. They're only one compound over. So right now, Reese has the M16. If he gets a knock with the M16, he can quickly follow up with a saw shot. Uh, from the single or burst fire of the M16 as opposed to a card 98 bolt action where you get one down Then you got to rechamber around and maybe get another shot that might not kill him unless you hit him in the head So it's not a bad play to go with an SLR or an AR on that in that aspect Oh Patriot does find pure customs in the backside of that compound and knocks him. That's unfortunate I think Reese heard the other the other squad was rotating away to a safer position and JTX and Patriot took advantage of that opportunity I thought they were just fighting the It's Equivocal, too. That's that's interesting. Uh, okay, so let's rotate over to the left side here. Let's see who trickles on into the circle edge. So now we're in phase four of the circle. Look how tight this circle is on Paradise. I wish it would come a little bit away from Paradise, but, but let's see. So we got Mike Stan and Prolific still fully teamed up, but not... They need heals. Where's the boost? Oh, he does see him and takes shots. They both see each other. Care Bear is one shot away from going to the grass. It's equivocal. Gives his buddy just enough cover to get some heals off. Good save. Now, JTX Patriot are going to push up behind him. Care Bear is going to be easy pickings right here, buddy. We'll talk to you in a minute. The lobby's been real. Patriot's right on top of him. Or a sniper is. Oh, and does get him. I thought for a second he was going to miss him. Now it's a 2v2v1 situation. It's equivocal. rotating back to see if he can save his teammate, but that's not a smart play. Let him die. He's goner. He's a goner. Get yourself some cover. They have the hilltop now. You are in trouble. He's trying to get to that rock for cover. Whoa, what a grenade from Mike Stan Twitch from downtown. Can they get the sauce to get the points? No, they can't. No! Patriot takes that. It's equivocal. Now Mike Stan Twitch. It's a 2v1. Prolific got on Patriot. He's going to get a heal off unless they get a grenade on top of that rock. Sniper's trying to give them call. I can hear them. They're close. They're close. I can hear them. They're coming. Mike Stan does get shot at. Nothing connects. Patriot's backing off with a clutch, gr oh, a clutch grenade. Just like that, he can knock out both. They rotate away and they're safe. They're safe. No one else is rotating to the fight. It's still a 2v1. Patriot at his hilltop. No one can connect shots. JTX sniper bleeds out. And Patriot goes down by prolific. GG's team 30. Oh, no, no. We got to go. Oh, go, go birds just got knocked out by bear right behind us as that action was unfolding. Team 19's eliminated. GG's to team 4 and team 30 for those collapse right there. Sleepy Weasel and Loud Giraffe. Uh, want nothing to do with that fight. So we're going to rotate over into Paradise again. It looks like Blue Sane is about to run into Reckless. Let's get there quick. I don't even know if they can hear each other yet. Let's do. Let's hear. I think they did hear each other. That That's probably close enough to hear footsteps. Both teams are full health. Yeah, they're, they're kind of looking. They thought they heard something. They're not sure. Reckless might have seen him. Pulls the car 98 out. Sees he can get a lean. Holds a breath in the four-time scope and lets one fly. Does he take a headshot? No, he's got the VSS? Excuse me. He does have good circle position, but this is bad. Twitch, uh, Vin Sane and Blue Sane can get an easy frag on that one rock. Sane gives his boy some cover. Blue Sane rotes around, rotates around left side. Here comes that frag grenade we're talking about. You might be in trouble. No, it's too far. It's too long. Dumboy rotates left with no cover. Right on top of Twitch, Blue Sane, and takes him out. It's a 1v1 situation right now. Can dumb boy get a heal and save his teammate? Goes for the sauce and says, I know I'm done. I just need to get the seven points. His teammate's not mad about it. Meanwhile, Ronnie Ballgame and Holy Crust are going to take third-party shots to see if they can secure some points there. Let's get on top, on top of the compound and see how teams rotate in. That fight got sick nasty. Prolific and Mike are going to hold their compound as long as they can. They have in circle, unfortunately. I wish that circle would get out of that building. 
but that's okay. So now we got six teams left here. Uh, Bear and Ronnie's squad are outside circle. They got to trickle on in in a minute. Loud Giraffe and Sleepy Weasel are going to finally rotate in the circle, but keep in mind, they're cold. They haven't had a lot of gunfights this match, so when they do get into a fight, I believe Mike Stan's squad is going to have the upper hand simply because they've been shooting more often. They're ready. Their aim is on point right now. Could be wrong, but we'll see. We'll see. Loud Giraffe goes to the prone loot mechanic. He's rocking M16 and a Burl. That Burl's going to really destroy armor this late game. What's Weasel got? A QBZ and a uh, M4 suppress, I think. Uh-oh, Bear and Ronnie Ballgame Squad are letting him have it. Let's get rotated in here. Bear and DJ Swiss have snipers and ARs, and they are not afraid to use them. Ronnie is not even shooting back, it seems like. They're just rotating away from this fight. Or are they shooting at Mike Stan Squad in the balcony? We can't even really tell, can we? Let's see. No, they are shooting at Ronnie's, uh, Ronnie's squad. Holy Crust is half health. Well, the Twitch Fin Sane goes down by Kitchen. Oh, it's right. It's the instant sauce goes. Blue Sane died the last fight. Wow, that's unfortunate. That was a 2v1 there. Okay, now we got a 2v2, v2, v2, v2 situation. Bear is rotating in. Oh, no. Oh, no. Team 4 is about to be hella pinched here. We got Team 28 and Team 30 all within shooting distance of each other. Uh, Mike stands and have to rotate around. This is not a good spot for Prolific and Mike to really team fight because they get in each other's way. Watch out, Weasel, to your left. You're about to get run up on in 90, in 90 seconds with the Twitch delay. Big Bang takes out Holy Crust because he was half health. Can Ronnie save his buddy over here? We don't know because it's so slow to move the camera. He does. He gets one with the AUG. Shit, DJ Swiss takes out Weasel. <laughs> Loud Giraffe takes... Oh, my God. Teams are dying everywhere. It's uncontrollable. Big Bang, can he rotate in to get healed by his buddy Kitchen? I think he can. Let's rotate back to the hilltop. Team 4 did knock out Team 28. As suspected, they might not have been hot on their shots. I don't know. We didn't get to see the fight, unfortunately. So Team 4 is going to be able to heal here. Let's rotate on per person. Now there's only three teams, six alive in the first round of the OGC PUBG Xbox Duo Tournament. Mike Stan is full heal. Bayer is only 75% health. You got to get some boost, buddy. You got two of them. Use them. Use them. He's rocking the OP ump with a two-time scope. Kitchen is going to tie his shoes or something uh, and use a drink. TJ Swiss has the ump. We just said that. Prolific God has the AK. Now that's the gun you want to see this late game. This is going to destroy anyone's level 3 armor much better than those umps or the M4s are going to do. I think it's a good call on Prolific. Whoa! Card in that 8-shot comes out but doesn't connect from Mike Stan Twitch with a 4 times scope. See, this is a bad spot for him to be because it's a good circle position, but it's hard to peek in and out of doorways in this uh, PUBG Xbox game. You get caught on him sometimes, so it's it's really sketchy. He doesn't know where this other team's at, so he's looking out in the forest saying, what the hell? Oh, I got eyes on him now. I'm letting him fly. They both have AKs. They both have AKs here on Team 30. Bear is going to give them the height advantage, throw a flashbang, say, shield your eyes. I'm coming in hot with this ump. Boom. Prolific is blind. He uses that rotation to get under the cover. Why am I getting a phone call? Not interested right now. Reloads the ump, has 40 bullets in the magazine. Kitchen wants to get involved, but he's nowhere near the fight. DJ Swiss has the three time. Oh my God, nasty car 98 shot to the chest. Swiss has got to get a heal off. He does have five first aids, no worries. But we don't know how much armor he has left because the game doesn't tell us. It's unfortunate. Team four has got to make a push here to get out of this building and get into the circle. They're right under Prolific and Mike Sand, who have the height advantage and they have circle. This is really silly for them to do this unless they have frag grenades. Mike Sand's going to take the opportunity to heal up and do a little boosty boost. Bear does have a sneaky position now, but now, oh, this is going to be great. Every team has to rotate out of their hiding spot into the last circle. And Kitchen Squad actually probably has the best position because they got to rotate right, right where they can see them. I think this should be easy claps on Team 25. Here comes a frag grenade. We'll talk to you later, Bear. That's going to connect to your feet, I think. No, it doesn't. He's lucky and it doesn't. Now, they rotate at the building, but they're not shooting. There he goes. Bear takes some shots back to give his buddy some cover. Now, Kitchen has an easy opportunity to take out Team 30 here if they rotate right. Yes, go now. Go now. You got to go. Y'all had great opportunity there. Mike Stan Twitch sees his opportunity, rotates around. Big Bang has a mute, and I hate this gun with a four-time scope. It's absolutely terrible. Prolific guy with the AK. Oh, goes down. Goes down. He only does a little bit of damage to Kitchen. Mike Stan to back his buddy up. Get on Mike Stan. There we go. Mike, you have no health. You got to heal. Whoa, gets one, uh, but isn't able to secure. So there goes Team 30 with no points for that kill. They couldn't sauce in time. See, this late in the game, 
the teams are going to get good finish placement points, 70 to 65 to 60 for top three. But those extra seven points can go a long way for each sauce. So it's almost worth it just to sauce that kill as soon as you get the opportunity this late in the game because you're already going to get good placement points. So now it's a 2v2 situation. Kitchen's got to heal up. He's got plenty of boost to get to full health, but it won't be enough time to get to full. So he'll stay 75, 80%. You got to go for circle before he take tick damage, though. We don't know what kind of armor he has because we can't tell. DJ Swiss with the Kobe goes out, has a smoke grenade to back him up. It was just a bait. We're just kidding. Team 25 is no heals for this fight. What are you doing? And goes down easy. There goes the sauce to secure it. It's a 2v1 situation. Bang Bang is going to try to get a heal in the smoke. He gets a random shot. They don't know it's connecting. Boom, he's got 75% health. Here comes a Molotov. I'm destroying everybody's frames. No one's going to be able to aim here. Not even me. Here we go. Here we go. AK quick connects. And the sauce. He should have turned around quicker. He has this lucky palm tree. Oh, no. Oh no, DJ Swiss takes him out with the umpty dumpty as the 1v1 to end the game. Holy shit. I thought Big Bang was going to secure that AK kill there. Woo, baby. Damn, good finish, teams. Holy shit. That got me pumped. That got me pumped. Good finish, teams. Holy hell.